So the Menagerie has been out for a few days and I've gotten the SMG and the Sniper Rifle. I haven't been playing as much as I would like to because of so many videos that I've been making from this DLC and from the new expansion that's coming out in September. So expect a lot more content in the coming days. But today I will be explaining the mechanics so far in the Menagerie. So let's start off with the first event where basically you have six lamps and you have to kill majors which will drop orbs then you slam set orbs on the unlit lamps and you have to do that six times so for the next couple of events they are not in order because they are randomized but you will play them all unless you're higher level or your team is just really good at completing the few that you need to do so the first one is the repost which has knights spawn in, kill them to get their swords to deal damage to the knights that have shields, which will drop more swords, use all these swords to kill ogres that will spawn in with that same shield, and keep killing until complete or time runs out. It's honestly not that hard, just kill to get swords, kill more to get swords, and then kill ogres to complete. Pretty much it. If I remember correctly, it's only four ogres, but I'm not too sure. The crystals has these crystal shaped holes in the walls and some will spawn in. Check everywhere because these are really hard to find at times. Not hard, but more like you think you you saw something, but really it's like a, an angle in a wall that you didn't see. It's, it's really fucking it's pretty cool sometimes. So harpies will spawn in, which is what you need to kill because they drop void skulls, which you can destroy the crystals with. After all the crystals are destroyed, a boss will spawn in, kill them, and repeat the order. This time, a lot more crystals are going to spawn in. And just do this three times, kill the bosses three times, and it's done. Or, or unless you run out of time. The Hunted is probably my favorite for the sheer amount of chaos that it is. You have plates that will spawn in, and you have to stand on them until it's done. What's so chaotic about this one is that you have to deal with thralls, exploding thralls that are majors, and a giant ass knight, which is terrifying because he slowly walks up to you and he will yeet you out of existence if you're not careful. So just have you and your team focus him down unless you want to get yeeted on, I don't know why. Uh, and then just activate all the plates and you're done, or unless your time runs out. The mockery is basically blind wall where there's a bubble that when inside you're immune from all the damage you get from the air outside of the bubble. The main difference is that you have to kill these wizards that spawn so that they can drop these orbs that you can dunk on the beacons that make the safe bubble. Do that as many times as you need to until complete. I haven't done this. I, me and my teams have always wiped on this one. Or not wiped, but our time runs out. So I'm not sure about that. The Arcborn, which is in the same room as the Mockery, uses the same mechanics, but this time you have to collect these soul carriers from these green pillars of, of light. These charge you up three times and you will dunk, dunk it in the same beacons from the Mockery. Then you'll have some enemies spawn in, either an ogre or a wizard, kill them, then go back to collecting the soul carriers. If I remember correctly though, First it's Ogre, then Wizards, and then I haven't done the third part, I don't remember. But after that you're done. So if you've done the Leviathan Raid, you're probably going to remember this one. It's called the Gauntlet, which the only difference is that you have to kill a boss inside the middle. And I think it's a, a Minotaur in the first one, like a big ass giant Minotaur. And just kill the Minotaur, you'll go into the into the obstacle course have all your team go through it the more people that complete it the more light you get so if you all can go do it that would be great especially since you can get a triumph from it and then just kill the next boss rinse and repeat the second time around it's gonna get a little harder um pillars of flame are gonna come out and they can kill you really fast if you're low level then uh kill the next boss and then literally just rinse and repeat so do that three times and you're done with that one and that's pretty much it for all of the events so far. They're really cool. I really like them a lot, especially the Gauntlet and the the Hunted. I especially like the the Gauntlet a lot because they repurposed something we already knew and made it just a little bit more different that it made it exciting. I really like that. And it's a great way of using assets that you already had, 
but in a different way. This is this is how you do it instead of you know recoloring a fucking armor set. But that's 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 neither here nor there. So just a quick little reminder though that after some time in each encounter, you you will get a notification saying that Callus demands that you fight a worthier opponent, which essentially means he's gonna spawn in harder enemies for you and your team to kill. It's a dick move, but I kind of like it because it makes it a lot more challenging, a lot more chaotic as well. Like you and your team are going to be like screaming. It's going to be fucking fun. Like when me and my friend did it, we were losing our shit throughout the whole time. It was probably the most fun me and him have had in a long time. And it kind of kills me that I haven't played with him yet because I've just been so busy. But yeah, guys, this, 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 uh, this event alone has made me more than happy with this DLC. Aside from the armor, the Eververse from the other videos, all that shit's fucking garbage. But the Menagerie, honestly, is so great that I can overlook it because it's that good. Like, it's so good. I can't wait for the new boss that's coming out next week. I can't wait for the Heroic, which hopefully I can get enough people. I don't. I really don't want to do the LFG. But it's just, it's really cool seeing this game mode happen especially since i really love it and oh man i have so much words to say about the new event the new uh, dlc that's coming out on september i have a video coming up next for that one so overall like i said i love the menagerie it's probably one of my one of the best modes introduced to destiny 2 and probably in destiny history aside from maybe gambit which i still love even though i hate playing it at times this does give people that haven't done any raid a taste of what raiding is and honestly more people should raid it's a lot of fun it's really good you might never know you might find your fucking best friends that's how i found my best friends but hopefully this gets them interested in it i will be doing menagerie runs on my channel most likely since i love this event so much like i've been saying what do you guys think of the of the new event do you guys like it hate it let me know if in the comments below i really would like like to have a conversation with you all don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below and I will see you guys later.